In question 15, we have this diagram here. We've got PQR and PTS are straight lines. The angle PTQ equals the angle PSR, and they're both equal to 90 degrees. So see these angles are 90 degrees. QT is 4, there it is there. RS is 12, and TS is 10. Work out the area of the trapezium QRST. So we're asked to work out the area of this trapezium here, QRST. Now it might help you if we just draw a little sketch of this diagram. We're used to dealing with trapeziums like so. Two parallel sides. And we know that um, the height, if you, if you tilt your head to the left, if you will, the height of this guy is 10. Um, one of the parallel sides is, is 12. Uh, the other is 4. And we want the area. And the area uh, for a trapezium is actually given at the front of the book. And it's like this, half a, b, a plus b times h. So in other words, what it's saying is, add the two parallel sides, multiply by the height, and then half your answer. So let's do that. So we get a half times, the two parallel sides are 4 and 12. And we're going to multiply that by 10. So that's a half times 16 times 10, which is half of 160, which is 80. Now let's just check the unit centimeters, so it must be centimeters squared. So fairly straightforward for the first couple of marks. Um, part B, we're asked to work at the length of PT. So we want this length here. And this is going to require similarity. So we've actually got two similar triangles. I don't know whether you can see them. We've got a triangle here, and we've got another triangle here. So what I always suggest is that we sketch both triangles. So let's, let's go for that. We've got a right angle triangle like so. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of magic to make this quicker. So we've got two triangles like that. Now let's just label them properly. P, T, Q. P, T, Q. And then P, S, R. P, S, R. What else do we know? Uh, let's see. S, R is 12. And T, Q is 4. T, Q is 4. S, T is 10. I don't actually have that information just yet. ST is 10, but we'll, we'll worry about that in a second. I want this length here. Now, there's a re the relationship between these sides. Um, <clears throat> what would I have to multiply TQ by to make SR? So, to work out the scale factor, what I normally do is do the large side divided by its corresponding small side. So we can see that the scale factor is 3. The scale factor is 3. So if we go back to our diagram, if the scale factor is 3, 
That means that PS must be three times the length of PT. PS must equal three times PT. So PS is three times PT. Now the other piece of information we can see is that PS is actually equal to PT plus 10. PT plus 10. This is going to be very important. PS is the same as PT plus 10. So let's go back down here. PS equals PT plus 10. And that must equal 3 times PT. So, let's just tidy that up. 3PT is equal to PT plus 10. I'm going to take PT away from both sides. So 10 equals 2PT. We took PT away from both sides. And then finally we're going to divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2 you get PT is equal to 5. So, that would be equal to 5. And let's just check our answer. If that was 5, remember the scale factor was 3. We'll come back to life. If, if PT is 5 and PS is 15, there is a scale factor of 3. That's the question answered.